There has been a barber shop at this location on Como Avenue since the late 1890s. Pete Kish has owned the shop for nearly 42 years. The decor is unique and gives a small town feel to this big city barber. The walls are adorned with game and fowl, which Pete has gotten himself over the years. The shop only has two chairs, but men often line up to have their hair cut there. In part because things are done the old-fashioned way. Touch-ups and shaves are even done with a straight razor. A dream by Kish led him to the small shop on Como Avenue after he'd cut hair in northeast Minneapolis for years. And I dreamt that I bought this shop. And I asked our, our supply man if he supplied this shop. And he goes, yeah, I do. And he said, uh, I said, well, if it ever comes up for sale, let me know. And he says, it'll never come up for sale because his, his sons are, two of his sons are barbers. So just take it over. So I said, okay. About six weeks later, he said, come on out and help me carry in some towels, cases of towels. And I, I went in and uh, went out to help him carry the towels. And he said, I don't have any towels for you to carry, but he said, that barber shop's for sale. And so I said, I thought you said his kids were barbers. And he said, well, they got different jobs. And one was a, a, a hockey coach up at Coon Rapids, and the other one owned a bar out in Brook, Brooklyn Park called Blobby's. And, and uh, he said, they don't want to be barbers anymore. Pete is always quick with a story or a joke. At times, it's hard to tell which is which, but it's clear what's kept Pete in the business so long. The people, you know, just great conversations, you know, a million stories, you know, just a lot of laughs, mm -hmm. not just bad jokes, but, but a lot of good human stories, you know. For many people, Pete's runs in the family. The one penny gumball machine has been a hit with kids for many years. See why good families have good families. You know, mm -hmm. A lot of families with four generations coming in here. Each one of them raised their kids kind of the same way. Pete you know? is looking forward to a semi-retirement in the near future, and hopes to soon be bought out by his current understudy, Craig. It's been a good ride. I just wanted to slow down a little bit. So. For the Murphy News Service, I'm Stephen Omen.